everyone i just wanted to pause the video real quick and talk to you guys about princess polly and i wanted to thank princess polly for sponsoring today's video i am so excited to be working with them i absolutely love princess polly's clothes i always find myself going to princess polly's website whenever i have any event any occasion in my life that i don't have an outfit for i can guarantee princess polly has the outfit for me and i have some really cute pieces to share with you guys today that i'm really excited about and i'm also really excited because i have a discount code for you guys my code is 20 kate and that gets you 20 percent off everything i also wanted to mention that princess polly does ship from within the united states and they do offer free standard shipping to all u.s customers when your order is over $50. Princess Polly also offers afterpay and shop pay to all US customers. So let's go ahead and get into this try on haul. The first item I have is just this white sweater that I'm wearing right now. I absolutely love this. I'm always looking for new sweaters. Living in Boston, I just am constantly needing new winter clothing. Looking up the window right now, it is snowing. So I'm just constantly in need. And this sweater is so cute. It just has a nice little preppy vintage feel to it. Super soft material, really nice quality. And I got this in a size medium large. I do recommend sizing up if you like your stuff to fit a little bit more oversized. That's what I did and it fits perfectly. I absolutely love this sweater and I can definitely see myself wearing this so much throughout the winter. And in my hair right now, I have another little Princess Polly accessory. It's a claw clip. Let me tell you, Princess Polly has the best claw clips I've ever found in my life. I have one light pink claw clip from them that you've probably seen me wear before because I'm almost wearing it every single day and it is by far the best claw clip it is the only one that actually holds all my hair i have pretty thick pretty long hair and these claw clips have a little bit of a grip to them that make them really effective in holding your hair back the next item that i got is this black bodysuit princess polly has a really nice selection of bodysuits i feel like if you're looking for any staples in your closet Princess Polly is a great place to check out. It's a long sleeve bodysuit, so again, perfect for this weather we're having in Boston. I absolutely love this. The quality is so nice. It's a really soft fabric. It's also super stretchy, which I love. Makes it so much more comfortable. Next up, I got this maxi dress. This is so beautiful, and I am truly impressed with the quality of this dress. It is a full black maxi dress with a square neckline. And it also has a low back, which I absolutely love. I think that's so flattering. It's just a fun little way to spice up a look. Next up, I got a pair of trousers. Now, I already have these trousers in black and white, and I absolutely love them. So I just simply needed the gray to expand the collection. These are such nice trousers. If you were on the market for a pair, definitely check out these ones from Princess Polly. The quality is super nice, and they're just a really versatile pant. If you work a corporate job, you can definitely wear them for that. If you want to make them more casual, casual dress them down super easy to do that i feel like you can do a lot of different looks with these pants and they are just really comfortable and really flattering next up i got a blazer this is a really beautiful grayish green blazer i think it's so cute and i love seeing blazers styled i also feel like blazers are just an essential in your closet because you can wear them in so many different ways and you can put very basic pieces on underneath and then layer a blazer on top and make yourself look so much more put together and really complete an outfit last but not least i got a little baseball cap it just says new york new york on it i mostly got this because i have been loving wearing baseball hats recently i'm not sure what it is i just really have been <laughs> liking to wear them on my rougher hair days and they just really add a lot to an outfit too it's a nice accessory just to throw on and i absolutely love this emerald green color i think it's so beautiful so i will definitely be wearing this a ton and that is everything that i got again thank you so much to princess polly for sponsoring today's video i'm absolutely in love with these pieces and there is such a wide selection on their website that i know you guys will find something you love too and use my code 20 kate for 20 percent off your order let's get back into the vlog Good morning, everybody. I just heated up some breakfast. I made these yesterday. They are so good. They're just vegan sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits. I never made them before, but these biscuits are just the immaculate brand. They come in a can. I got them at Whole Foods, and then I just have some Beyond Vegan Sausage, the Just Egg, and some vegan cheese, and I just put that all together, and it's so good. I'm probably gonna freeze them and then eat them for breakfast throughout the week, but 
just thought I'd have one this morning. So I'm going to make my morning matcha right now. I kind of alternate between matcha and my Nespresso machine. Today I really would like a matcha, so I'm gonna make that and I'll show you guys how I make it. I have my top two matcha powders right here. They're both from Amazon. This one is the Ipoto Tea and this one is the Kyoto Dew matcha. They're both premium matcha powders. They're ceremonial grade. I think that's the most important thing when picking out a matcha powder. Initially, when I first started making matcha two years ago, I just grabbed a culinary grade matcha and it just does not compare to ceremonial grade. The powder is not as vibrant, it's not as green. It doesn't have as pure of a taste. So really just invest in ceremonial grade. I know it's expensive, but the matcha is going to taste so much better. First, I'm just going to microwave some water. Currently, I'm using up the Ipoto tea before I go into the Kyoto Dew matcha. So I'm just gonna take this one today and I do one teaspoon of that matcha powder. And now I just take a really small amount of warm water. I'll probably end up using like half of this or less. And I just pour it on top of the matcha. And I whisk it until it's nice and combined and frothy with a matcha whisk. Now I prefer my matcha to be iced. If you want to do it hot, that's totally fine too. You can just heat up the milk and froth it and pour it on top of the matcha. But I'm going to make iced, so I just use my Oatly oat milk. This is my favorite oat milk. You can use any kind of milk that you want, and I pour it over ice. And before I add my matcha, I'm just going to add a little bit of sweetness. So I like to use this Jordan's Skinny Syrups Vanilla Sweetener. I get this on Amazon, and it's so good. I don't measure anything. I just kind of eyeball it, but just a little dash of that. And then I take my matcha mixture and just pour it on top. What is it? The most gorgeous matcha. The color is so pretty. Mm, yep. That hits. I'm doing my skincare right now and I am breaking out today. And I don't really understand the reason why. The only thing I can think of is that I have not been eating the best lately. I've been eating like quite a bit of greasy food. And so maybe that has just been not great for my skin, but I don't know. I feel like my skin is just all or nothing. Either I have no breakouts at all, or I just start breaking out everywhere. And I don't even think I can say that it's hormonal because I'm on birth control. I don't even really get my period anymore because I've been on it for so long. Um, so I don't know, but I'm just gonna try and drink a lot of water today. I would say I'm gonna try and eat better foods. Literally had a sausage, egg, and cheese this morning. It's fine. Nothing a little concealer can't fix. I am not gonna fully get ready and like do makeup and everything like that. You know, I am gonna do a little bit of makeup later. I have a little Zoom meeting in like 20 minutes with um it's a wedding planning meeting with my venue coordinator, which I just found out that I had one of these last week. So I have a wedding planner. Michael and I hired a wedding planner because we are getting married in North Carolina and we live in Boston right now, so most of our wedding planning is virtual, which is a little bit more challenging and we're not able to meet a lot of our vendors in person, we're not able to see things in person, so we wanted somebody in North Carolina that we could really trust to pick good vendors and see things in person and all of that and just keep us organized and on track, so we have a North Carolina based wedding planner. But I got an email last week from the venue that we're getting married at and they told me that I also have a venue coordinator that works for the venue that will just help us run things smoothly on the day of. I don't, I don't really know, but anyhow, I'm meeting with her today on Zoom. I think just kind of to meet each other like a meet and greet and maybe discuss some like small things, but I'm just going with the flow at this point. I have no idea what's going on. I have that meeting and wedding planning is picking up. Wedding is two and a half months away. Today's January 16th, I believe, and the wedding is April 2nd. I cannot believe how quickly it is coming up. It does not feel like we've been engaged for over a year, but we have. We've been engaged for almost a year and one month, and it's wild. I'm so excited for the wedding. I honestly just, this sounds really bad, but I just can't wait for it to be over. I, from the get-go, really did not want to plan a wedding. I honestly just wanted to elope. That was like the vision, the dream. If we were really going to have a wedding, I wanted it to be a micro wedding, like 15 people, but that's okay. But I think the day itself will be absolutely beautiful. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a dream. And obviously the most important thing is just that we are getting married. 
and it's gonna be an absolutely beautiful day. It's just that the planning process has been quite stressful and I've not really enjoyed the planning process at all. I know some people find it super fun and love it, but it's just not for me. We are getting there and I am going to just hop on the computer soon, do this little Zoom call, and I will update you guys after. I just had my little wedding planning meeting with the venue coordinators, they have coordinators, something of our wedding venue, and they were just two super sweet girls. Really nice, like super chill call. It was like 10 to 15 minutes, and we just chatted about not really anything, just kind of like getting to know me and if I had any questions, stuff like that. But they were like, you're such a chill bride, and I was like, I really am not a chill bride, I've just given up. I've truly just given up and it's funny because we were talking about in the bathroom like an hour ago about how I really didn't want a wedding and this morning I got more information from somebody in my life that just exposed more behind the scenes wedding drama which is like just super upsetting to me and I don't want to cry about it but I feel myself getting emotional that there's just been so much drama and so much tension around this this wedding and it's supposed to be a happy thing and it's supposed to be like a celebration of Michael and I's love and like it just doesn't feel like that like it's just <laughs> fuck um I'm just a little bit upset because there's just there's just wedding drama and um I don't really want to talk about specifics here on the internet because I can't even address it in my personal life like I don't even have the courage and the tools to talk about this privately with people so it's just not fair to talk about it on the internet but um yeah, I'm just struggling with the whole wedding planning process and the drama and the tension and just like, it's just too much for me and so that's why I'm just kind of excited for it to be over. Obviously the day is going to be beautiful. Everything leading up to it has not been fun. I was going to do my makeup right now to get ready for the day because I have some things that I need to film, but um, my makeup would not turn out very well right now if I did it. So I think I'm probably just going to take a little break. Um, it's 10.50 right now. Maybe I will just watch an episode on Netflix, gather myself, just gather my emotions, calm myself down, and then I'll reset back down and we'll do our makeup together. I think I just need a minute. I thought that I could just talk about this casually, but clearly I have like so many built up emotions about this. And um, I don't think I mentioned already in this video that Michael is currently out of town. He's in New York for a conference for work. And so he comes back tonight. He's only gone for one night, but he's not gonna be here all day today. I think he flies back in at like 10.30 p.m. So I can't even talk to him about it right now. I just kind of feel like I'm on my own to process some of these emotions. So I'm going to process it by watching The Walking Dead, which I've actually really been enjoying, which is surprising because I feel like I hear very mixed things about that show. I think it is a very long show. I'm pretty sure there's like 11 seasons or something ridiculous like that. So I think I've heard that at some point it kind of goes a little bit downhill. I am about to watch the season three finale right now. And up to this point, I do really like it. I'm really interested. Just give me a minute to gather myself. I'll be back. I'm back now after watching the episode of The Walking Dead, and I don't think that was the therapy that I needed. It didn't really help me process anything, but the show must go on. I have things to do today, I have to get myself up, I have to get myself moving, and just move on. And just move on. So, I have made myself a cup of English breakfast tea, so I'm going to enjoy this, watch a vlog while I do my makeup. I just finished doing some filming and editing for TikTok, and now I'm going to have a little bit of lunch. This is just leftover of what I made for dinner last night. It's an avocado pesto pasta. Really good. It was super easy to make. Took negative effort. And I filmed it for TikTok, so I'll link that video down below if you guys want to see how to make it. The recipe will be in the caption of that video. I already topped it off with vegan parmesan, but I'm going to add some nutritional yeast on top too. I feel like I talk about nutritional yeast all the time, but in case you're new here or you haven't heard me talk about it yet, if you're vegan or vegetarian, or even if you aren't vegan or vegetarian, nutritional yeast is so delicious, first of all, but also so good for you. It's fortified with a ton of vitamins, all these vitamins down here, specifically really high in B vitamins, especially vitamin B12 if you don't eat meat then you might be lacking in this nutrient if you don't get it in other fortified foods. So nutritional yeast is a great way to get it in. It's also pretty high protein um, in this as well. So it's just great. I love the flavor. It kind of tastes a little bit cheesy to me. And I put it on top of almost everything that I eat. 
as you can see, I really just layered on there thick, but I just love the taste of it. So I'm going to have some lunch and chill out for a little bit, and then I'll catch back up with you guys after. I finished my Pilates workout, which was really nice. I was feeling pretty unmotivated to do any kind of movement today, but I just knew that it would be good for me. I definitely wouldn't regret it after, so I just did an at-home Pilates session. That's kind of my go-to when I'm just feeling unmotivated, that and doing 12 3.30 on the treadmill. With the treadmill, I can motivate myself by either putting on an episode of Netflix while I'm walking, or I can put on a YouTube video or something like that, and with the Pilates, I'm just like, it's literally in my living room. I just lay a mat down, I don't have to go anywhere, I don't have to do anything, I just do it all in my space and I try and make it a relaxing and rejuvenating experience. That was really good. I did a move with Nicole Pilates class and her classes are actually killer. It was a butt and thighs focused class and they were truly burning. It was such a good workout. So if you are looking for an at-home Pilates workout to try, just look up Move with Nicole on YouTube. All of her classes are completely free. So it makes it really easy and I just really enjoy them. But now I'm gonna be making some dinner. I'm gonna be making some nachos, which I'm really excited about. I decided to make some nachos because Michael is not here. So I thought I would make a dinner that he normally doesn't like, so that way I can enjoy it by myself. And he actually does not like nachos, which who doesn't like nachos? So got some ingredients here. We have white corn tortilla chips from Trader Joe's. And then I'm going to use some black beans for protein as well as this Trader Joe's beefless ground beef. I've talked about this in numerous videos. This is the best vegan ground beef and it is substantially cheaper than all the other brands and the nutrition facts are really good as well. Super high in micronutrients, low in saturated fat, high in protein. I absolutely love this stuff. And then I'm also going to make some homemade guac to go on top. So I have an avocado, a lime, red onion, also put red onion on the chips themselves. You can also add some tomato in your guac if you like it. I just have some mild salsa from Trader Joe's and then we have some vegan cheddar. I'm also just going to make a homemade nacho cheese sauce out of cashews and some spices. So I'm going to whip this up right now and let's see how this turns out. Okay, before I dig in, can we just acknowledge what a masterpiece this is? This looks so good and it honestly took me probably like 20 minutes max and it would have taken me even less time if I wasn't filming anything, but because I was filming for TikTok, it did take a little bit longer. I'm going to grab a plate, eat some nachos, watch more of The Walking Dead. So Michael is not supposed to land for another three-ish hours or so, but I'm kind of worried about his flight because of all the snow today. I'm really hoping that it takes off and everything's okay and that he gets back to Boston safely. But that would just really suck if he wasn't able to make it in tonight. But I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. But for the time being, I'm just going to eat my dinner, chill on the couch. It is 11.15 right now. Michael's flight was delayed about an hour, but thankfully he did land. So he is back in Boston. Now I have to go pick him up. We are probably going to go to bed right when we get back because we both have to work tomorrow. Thankfully, I don't start until 10 a.m. tomorrow so I can sleep in a little bit longer than normal which will be very nice given this late evening that we're having, but I'm gonna climb into bed right when I get back home because I'm so tired, it's been a long day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, don't forget to shop Princess Polly. I'll have a link down below and my code is 20k for 20% off. And I will see you guys in the next video.